All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Village of Royal Palm Beach Special Magistrate hearing for Wednesday, April 13th, 2022. As I like to say, if you have a code enforcement issue, you're in the right place. My name is Doug McGibbon. I'm the Special Magistrate. First thing we're going to do is we're going to swear everyone in, and I'll probably end up doing this two or three times as strays walk in the door. So the first thing everyone's going to do is raise your right hand, say I do, and we're done. Does everyone swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Everyone knows their right from their left. It's a good thing. All right. Most of the cases we hear today are either going to be fine assessment hearings or violation hearings. Hopefully you've checked in with the uh, code enforcement officers so they know, and know you're here and they've pulled your file. When you hear your name, go up to that podium over there. You're going to identify yourself with your name and your address. Uh, the code enforcement officer is going to show you some doc. Well, actually, the attorney for the code enforcement board will show you the documents uh, the code enforcement officer is trying to introduce you get to object to them or not and then you get to hear their side of the story and you get to present yours when they're done uh, that all switches when we get to the fine mitigation hearings on the last couple of pages of the agenda those people have been through the violation and the fine uh, assessment process and they're asking for relief to have their fines reduced and in those cases they get to go first i think that covers almost everything take it away village thank you sir amity barnard uh, assistant village attorney we're starting on page one of the agenda it's a fine assessment hearing case 21-0709 1387 denlow lane sabina and sadesh singh dana foley code officer for the village of royal palm beach we would like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, order finding violation. Exhibit 2, verification of ownership. Exhibit 3, permit information. Exhibit 4, affidavit of compliance. All right, you have a signed green card, so you have service. Uh, there's someone here. Could you identify yourself with your name and your address? Uh, Sadesh Singh, 1387, Denlo Lane, Royal Palm Beach, Florida. Thank you very much. Seeing that we have an affidavit of compliance, is this going to be a finding of fact or something else? No, this one was out of compliance for three days, so the village is asking okay. for a fine of seventy-five dollars and not continuing. All right, not a, not a huge thing, but okay, you get to go present your case then. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, so the documents that the code enforcement supervisor handed you, those are the exhibits you'd like to enter into evidence. Do you have any objection to those documents? No. Thank you. Sir. All right, admitted without objection. So he needed to get a permit, and he got one three days late, and we're going to go try to get him for seventy-five bucks. Thanks. Correct. He complied on three twenty-seven. Uh, three days, so we're asking for seventy-five dollars and not continuing. All right. Well, just given the days and the math, I kind of have to find you the seventy-five dollars. Pay it off someday if you wish. Because they process they process it on it was processed on on the Monday. And yeah. I had all the I had all the papers in. I was just waiting. That is the fine reduction later on in the program. But I have to find you just because of where we are in the process. And where we are in the process right now is there was a violation order that required compliance by prior to three days ago. And whispering's going on. So Yeah, the, your previous order required compliance by 324. The difficulty with mitigating even in the future is that there's additional costs. I know, that's the, the problem. Car, it's like it's a couple hundred dollars just yes. to release anything anyway. But yes, sir. You know, I'm stuck with the process as we have it, and the process as we have it says we are now at the violation stage, and unfortunately it was a three-day late thing, so I have to sign the, or I have to grant the request for the $75 uh, in fine. Okay, no problem. Uh, okay. Get a, you'll, get a, you'll get an order in the, mail. in the mail. You know, as long as you're the homeowner, there's nothing they can do about it. They can't foreclose it or anything, but you may want to pay it off just to get rid of it, just so you don't have yeah, to worry I about still it. Gotta finish the yeah the roof anyway so okay all, all right. right that is granted thank you very much thank you sir thank you for 75 no continuing correct yes that's correct next we're moving to page two second case down 22-0087 1274 mcdermott lane howard goff yes sir to the podium We would like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, order finding violation. Exhibit 2, verification of ownership. Exhibit 3, pictures. Exhibit 4, affidavit of compliance. Okay, so you have a COVID-19 signed green card. 
don't even have a picture of the uh, violation. I think all I have is a picture of the compliance. That's good. Thank you. What Did kind you of prohibited me? vehicle was it? Gina? Oh, you don't have the picture? I have a picture from 324. Does that show a prohibited vehicle? Or? Uh, sorry. Oh. Mm -hmm. I have everything. Okay. Oh, we have a variety. All right, that's even better. All right, now I do have pictures of this. Would you like to show this to the respondent? or? Do you have them on your screen, sir? Uh, all I have is the 324-22 DF, which lo looks like a Pontiac. I have them there on the screen up here, too. So I don't have what looks like to be a thrifty airport shuttle vehicle or the white semi-tractor trailer. Do you perhaps you would like to show these to the gentleman or not? I think those are mine. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So I'm using these to the decision, but I'm sorry, that's Of the garbage can. I'm looking at garbage can. Okay, interesting. Yes, sir. Oh, that's okay. Um, so did the prohibited vehicle was that removed in a timely manner or no? It was. It's just the garbage cans now. Yes. Okay. Hi, right, Mr. Goff. They're saying you have garbage cans in public view, and they're showing a picture of one parked behind your car and one maybe on the side of the house. Yes, sir, and that's been taken care of. The lady explained it to my wife, and now we know where to put them, so it won't happen again. Okay, well, as of the 24th, uh, let's see. Okay, that's old photos. All right, so here's the problem, and, and this goes for everyone in the room. I have literally driven home, because I live in rural Palm, and watched someone fix a problem that I ruled on that night. I mean, literally. It was a front door, and it was on my way home. And the guys were out working on it, and they repaired it, and they fixed it. They put a piece of metal over the bottom where the, the door was supposed to be rotted out. And it worked. But it only counts if you contact the code enforcement officer so they can go inspect it and Probably put an found. affidavit in your file. And that's more for the room than just for you. It's, you know, literally some, some of these things get fixed within days, but no one ever calls. And unless the code enforcement officer kind of notices this on their own, it just hangs out there forever. So that may be the problem. That was our problem. You may not have done it in time, and they're going to ask for a fine. And then. Yeah, the, it was out of compliance. Your previous order required compliance by 316. As the code officer testified, the prohibited vehicle complied, but the garbage can did not. So it was out for 11 days. We're asking for a $550 fine and not continuing. 550 and no continuing. And, you know, I'm sort of stuck here because all the proof I have is it was not done by the date it was supposed to have been done, at least according to the photo. And then you did fix it, so they at least are not continuing it. You may want to come back for a fine reduction hearing if you can show me what you did or what actually what what really matters is when you fix the problem by either putting lattice out or to screen it or by putting it in so when would that be you'll have to get a signed order first from me and then you can ask them it's a one page form that's really simple to fill out so i may get to see you again so i'm going to order the 550 dollars with no continuing and then we'll possibly see you again in a few months. And sir, right, can sir? I have those two photos I handed you back? Not a problem. Thank you for complying on most of it. You did the hard part. 
Next, please. Next, we're staying on the same page. Second one from the bottom, 21-0977, 126 Barrow Drive, 13A, Bernadette Fergus. Code Enforcement Officer, Margaret Hancock for the Village of Royal Palm Beach. I'd like to enter the following documents and evidence. Exhibit 1, previous order, find and violation. Exhibit 2, verification ownership. Exhibit 3, AS 400, permit information. Exhibit 4, affidavit of compliance. Okay. You have an affidavit of service. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Those documents are the exhibits that the village would like to enter into evidence. You can look through them and let me know if you have any objection to the previous order, um, your notice for tonight's hearing. Any objection to just the documents, ma'am? Thank you. Okay. What is this, five days? How many days has this one out? This it was out for... 800 and not continuing. Yeah. Okay, so how many days would that be? Four days, or no. 225 to 329. Oh, 225. 32 days. 32 days, yeah. Okay, 32 days. Got it. So... Ms. Fergus, the building department tends to dump all their undone permit files onto code enforcement to try to get people to finish these things out. And they seem to have done that to you for your permit that you got in 2019. And no one ever did the final inspection or closed out the permit. And that's why you're here. Do you understand that? Um, if you guys are expecting each year, um, there was a there was an issue with the old permit being closed out, and now it's being closed out again. So you'll be done. No fines, great. Granted. Thank you. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, go run away. No fine. <laughs> Thank you. I learned that once when I was a young attorney, and and someone said, yeah, "Run fine. away when you win," because sometimes the judge will took look around and go, "Well, maybe I." Changed my mind, so run away. Keep those papers. Go, go. You don't want them to change their mind. All right, next, please. Next, we're going to the second from the bottom on page three, which is the violation hearing. Oh, good. 21 0665, 156, Sierra Del Escobar. Okay. Number four. All right. Your name for the record, sir? Uh, my name is Josmani Romero. Oh, stop right there. You're going to spell that first name and that last name so my secretary does not go crazy trying to figure it out and we go, what did he say? All right, so can you spell your name, sir? Y-A-S-M-A-N-Y. Last name, please. R-O-M-E-R-O. He probably would have gotten the Romero, but the Yasmani would have been a spot. You're, uh, so you're here with? I'm his wife, uh, Lara, <laughs> L-A-R-A, Walsh, W-A-L-S-H. Okay, and we have a violation hearing with a prohibited vehicle, and they'll show you some documents. Code section is 2318B1A, prohibited vehicle, food, uh, excuse me, slash food truck. Observe this on 81221. The notice of violation was mailed out 81321 and by U USPS was um, delivered on 81821. The notice of hearing was mailed out 21722 and was posted. We'd like to enter the following into evidence Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing and affidavit of service. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. Exhibit 4, pictures. Exhibit 5, affidavit of compliance. There you go. Yeah, this is a, an advertisement for you on the local government channel where three people will be watching. So. We are, we have a one-year lease with the okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're fine. Our lease is up to uh, May 26th yeah. of this year. Does that mean that your certificate of address is not yet getting sent to the Department of Justice? Said, um, they said they were not going to be able to get it. 
And, and you have service via post on occasion. We have post. All right. Um, give her a second. Let her look over the docs. Do you have any objection to these documents? They're basically just public records along with a picture of the, the, the trailer. Yeah. No, we, we had originally um, parked the trailer there to clean it and um, all of our food was at the commissary and we got a notice um, from the village that it was against code to park the trailer out there. When we originally rented that home, we saw the semi-trucks, we saw work trucks, we saw all sorts of trucks everywhere and, and um, some other uh, vehicles. Um, never thought it was a problem, but as soon as we got the um, notice, um, no, you fixed it before anything could happen. I mean, right now, they would be asking you to remove it at some future date. Well, it's not at the house. I know. I mean, just to explain the process. They would be asking that you remove it in 10 days or whatever it would right, be. Yeah. And you've already done that. So the only thing that's going to be happening now is what's called a finding of fact that says you had a prohibited vehicle there for a whatever amount of time. It was removed in a timely manner. It just means the next time that that thing is there, there will be no notice and there will be no cure period. It will just jump into fines. Yeah, we so, are, we, we but you're going to be gone anyway. We were told that we could have it there for like an hour to clean it. Yeah. Um, and, um, uh, it was six months. Yeah. No, no, go ahead. You can, you can, if, if they, you know, bring it home and clean it out, is that fine? I mean, I, what? I, I, I'm the one that works with the dirt, and sometimes I spend, couple hours, two and a half hour because it's, it's very hard to clean inside, outside. Mm -hmm. well, well, I'm just trying to make sure there's... There. It cannot be there like that. Well, it can't be parked in his yard. Can it be parked out on the street while he cleans it? No, not okay. for two and a half, three hours. No. Okay. I was just trying to think if there's a way that, you know, that they could let you do this, but they're saying there's no way, so... I guess we're all stuck with that, and you get to clean it somewhere else now. Okay. All right, a finding of fact is granted. There's no fine. There's no problem with the landlord. You're, you're good. So just have a lovely afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, 22-0310-108 Sevilla Avenue, Marie oh. Y. Mathieu and Gerard oh. Villa Joint. Okay. All right, ma'am, what is your name? My name is Samel Marie Samel Rustin on behalf of the yeah, Marie. Okay. Yeah, I we're going to stop for a second. Yeah, we can. I, I skipped over one. If we can go back one, can you can you take your seat, ma'am? We'll get you next. You're next on the agenda. Why don't we just deal with her first? Then? We don't have uh, the right case file. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, we'll go do. They're on page four. Page four. In case twenty-two dash zero 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 two one one seven six three Balsam Drive, Ted Rex LLC. Okay. Code section six two two one zero eight point four twelve four C fifteen one thirty two nine four zero six one ninety A one five and fifteen fifty seven uh, work done without permits stucco windows etc garbage can on the sidewalk in public view bare spots in the yard and swell fence in disrepair sidewalk stain and covered with sand grass and weeds exceeds height allowed. Okay. Your name, sir? Uh, yes, Alfonso Duque. Spell your last name? Uh, Duque, uh, D-U-Q-U-E. And your relation to Ted Rex, LLC? It, uh, I'm the owner. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, so work done without a permit, stucco windows, garbage can on the sidewalk, and all that other stuff. And sir, those... The documents I just handed you are the, the notice documentation for tonight's hearing, verification of ownership, and photographs of the violation will be on the screen. Do you have any objection to those documents? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Um, 
I took care of the lawn. No, no, no. We're just we're we're just dealing with the the papers in front of you. We'll get to the the violations. Oh, sorry. So no objection to the documents. They're they're asking if you object to the pictures and the the service documents you have in front of you. you can just uh, put... no no objection. Okay, okay. thank Admitted you. without objection. Now we can get to the. I take it, I, I can see the new stretch stuck along the building. And then you have the other spots you're trying to show me, bare spots in the in the yard as well. The windows, were they changed out as well? Of what you're telling me? They're up on the screen, sir, now. Yes. Uh, I believe the previous owner changed those windows. Yeah, you're going to have to get them permitted, though, because I don't think... I don't think well. One I, of the things in the in the packet of papers should be the printout from the village permit file. Do they have that in here? Do we have an AS four hundred in this or no? Do you have an AS four hundred from up there? Okay. I'm All right, you're going to have to see. I don't know that the windows were permitted because. Usually they show up on the village's permit screen and they would look at it and go, oh, yeah, that's not a problem. The stucco may be just because it's, and it, it looks very nice. It's just you need a permit for it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I did. Yeah, the windows I, were permitted? In 2019, they were permitted. So they just need to be inspected, basically? I Actually, the permit needs to be renewed. And it they shows that, they were, that it was finally. Oh, okay. The so windows? the windows are off. See? I ask good questions. All right, so we're taking out the windows, et cetera. And we're going to uh, leave it with the stuff. Yes, I would like more uh, time for... Yeah, uh, well, this is the time of life where we give you time to go get it permitted. Yes, sir. And once you get the permit issued, am I correct that if the permit is issued, it goes away from the code enforcement department and goes to the building department? Correct. And you'll have six months to get the final done on the stucco. Uh, you're going to have a couple of other issues, though, that the garbage can needs to be screened. So you just need to get a piece of lattice from Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you buy the stuff from. I actually thought it was my neighbors. No, it's the, gar <laughs> the garbage. Never, the garbage cans them. are. My garbage cans are right behind my fence. Some people like leaving them in front. I don't know why, but the fence screens my garbage can. But you don't have to screen the whole thing. Mm -hmm. The lattice does a pretty good job of it as long as you have something it's hiding behind. And then if you want to make it pretty, you can put a bush in front of the lattice. But that will get you out of trouble. So what was the village wanting for uh, cure times on this? Compliance by May 26, 2022, or appearance at the June 8 fine assessment hearing or $25 a day fine? 526-6825. Okay, so getting a stucco permit shouldn't be a hard thing, right? That should be easy. He's got permits in right here. For the stuccos? Um, for everything? A lot of work, yeah. Okay. Then, good. That's all in the progress, and he'll probably have his permit issued. He just has to deal with the garbage can and the bare spots in the yard and swale. So. I think I spoke to you on the phone yesterday. Oh. You were asking about your contractor if he had submitted. Yes. His, yeah. I'm having trouble right. it's talking with, to him. It's with him right now to be paid for. So I don't know if he knows that, if you want to let him know. Um, Yes, I got I got an email. Yeah. Asking me to pay some fees. Okay, so the email comes to you then? It, it came to me. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just waiting to be paid for the permit. Okay. I will pay it tonight. Well, you you'll pay it tomorrow cuz we're Yeah, you'll have to pay it tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. You uh, can pay it online. Okay. What what about the fence? Uh it says fix the fence. Is that do I need a permit for the fence? I don't see a fence on the picture or anything. I don't see a fence on the repair the fence is on the, the fence. side of the house. All right, is, is that the etc.? It. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear you, Doug. I, I'm. Oh, okay. I think I finally. The, the yeah, fence is on, on the back, side of the house. The back left side of the house, I guess. Yes. See the picture with the tires. They, they were removed. No, not the tire. I'm just saying the picture with the tires. I can see a fence on that side of the house in oh. the back. Is that that the fence we're talking about? On the screen there, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that one. 
All right. Um, so you need to permit that as well because it looks like it's going to be more than 10%. Yes, of it, it, well, it's 25% now, but it may need a permit because it, the fence looks like it's ready just to go down. Okay. Yeah. So Do I need to replace the sidewalk? No, no, no. We're just, we're not dealing with that. I don't. I only deal with the stuff they bring. Okay. As, as issues. So, if they're saying the fence needs to go down, is that fence useful to you? Are you using it for any reason? Uh, no. You no, just I, may want to remove it and just get them to come by and inspect it so they can show that it's been removed. And then you can permit a real fence if you want to at some time in the future. I, I do want to. Yeah, but I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble now. And then, yes. And, and the fence looks like it's going to fall over anyway. You're going to have to take it out. So if you take it out, it's not a problem. And then you can apply for a fence permit either yourself or with a fencing company and do a, do a good fence. Okay, well, then he has to do it through a contractor. He can't do it as a homeowner, an owner builder. The building is just, it's just a stop work order on the initial permits are with. Right. So, okay, so you just have to pay for the permits, and they should be issued fairly quickly if that's the stage we're up to. Right? Yeah, probably yeah. about another week or two. Okay, so he pays, and it's a week or two, and he'll be able to go continue on. And then he just has to put up some lattice for the the garbage can issue or some kind of screening. Yeah, I mean, he can landscape that. screen it if he wants to. I just go for the cheapest and easiest way. Right. And and then maybe a little sod here or there, and he's good. He needs to sod. You need to cut the grass in the backyard. Okay. Um, okay. Thanks. Okay. And then when you get these things done, call her so she can come by and look. Okay. okay that way you'll get an affidavit of compliance in your file which is proof that on this day she she saw that you were done with these things and as long as that date is before may 26 there'll be no fines on the property thank you sir okay so you get an order in the mail have it done by may 26 so you come back in june or you face a 25 dollars day fine okay excellent thank you mr Dizzy. all right now we're back to Page six twenty two dash zero one three zero one oh eight Civilla Avenue, Marie Wymathu and Gerard Villa Joint. That's you again, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am, thank you. Code section six two two one oh five point five permit twenty twenty two fifty nine expired. It was for a window change out. Observe this on two twenty four twenty two. The notice of violation was mailed out two twenty four twenty two and was signed for on two twenty six twenty two. The notice of hearing was sent out certified mail on three seven twenty two and was signed for on three nine twenty two. Your name for the record, ma'am? Louise Pamela Racine on behalf of Marie Matthew Dissou. All right, Marie, could you please spell your last name for us? R A C I N E. All right, and what is your relation to Marie Matthew? Cousin. W what Cousin. is your relation to the, the person you were talking about? Cousin. Cousin, okay. All right, so. Ask her about her documents. The documents I just handed you, ma'am, those are the exhibits that the village would like to enter into evidence. It's a notice documentation for tonight's hearing, photograph of the violation, which will be up on the screen. Do you have any objection to those documents? There'll be no photograph in this case. Uh, it's a permit thing. I, I'm sorry, there's no photos. It's a permit. Any objection to those? They're just the documents with the mailing. No objection. Thing. All right, admit without objection. Then we can get to the case. Now, do you know if the windows were changed? Okay, what Murray Matthew or Gerald Villajoint need to do is get the permit renewed so they and then get an inspection so they can close out this, this I permit. I already spoke to Home Depot and the contractor who did the work. They told me they would submit the document stating the work, the work was done and then they were ready for inspection. And they even told me I don't even need to be here today. Well, they, they, they were wrong. Submit the document. Yeah, they, they need to, uh, someone needs to renew this permit. The Home Depot has to. Home Depot has to renew the permit. So you need to make sure that Home Depot renews the permit. Once the permit's renewed, you have six months to finish up and get your inspection. 
but you won't be in code enforcement problems. And that's what you want. So this is another 526.68? Yes, sir. $25 day fine. All right. So as long as Home Depot gets this done by May 26th, all they need to really do is submit a, a re-permit request, an extension. an extension request, and fork over a few dollars, then they'll issue it and you should be fine. So just make sure you stay on top of the Home Depot people and tell them you don't want to be fined and it's their fault and they need to take care of it. Okay. okay? So 526-6825 is granted. Thank you. Okay. Have a good evening. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Next to page 7, second from the bottom, 22-0104-10341, Symphony Lane, Lori Sayre. Code section is 9-1-06190A1, 3 and 5. Pardon me. We installed a new fence without a permit. Structure, sidewalk, and driveway are stained. I observed this violation on 124-22. Sent out notice of violation certified mail on 125-22. It was signed on 2-1-22. Sent out notice of hearing on 3-2-22. And it was delivered on 3 A notice of hearing for AS four hundred. Thank you. Thank you. Those are the exact hearing for tonight's hearing. Villages AS fence for eight twenty two. They have applied for May. Oh, whatever it is. I complied with. on that. Back on such. You already have submitted. Great. Processing work. Ability it's actually the last step. Then to inspect it. Thanks. Thank you. To clean it once. But all the mold off. Six eight twenty in the You're welcome. Next station hearing ones. Oh eight dash one nine nine two one twenty eight Sevilla Avenue, Deutsche Bank National Trust Co. Trustee. Wow, 2008. I think that's the year before I started doing this board. I think you're right. I think 2009 is the earliest order I've ever seen you sign here. All right, ma'am, please state your name for the record. Tina Dreyer. And my mother's name is Tina, so that's the easy part. D-R-I or D-R-Y? D-R-E-Y-E-R. -E -E that's why I always ask. And your relationship to Deutsche Bank or the property is? I am the owner. Okay. You bought it from Deutsche? I'm sorry? You bought it from the bank? I'm yes, kinda... I bought it from the bank. My realtor didn't do a title search. And I bought the house in 2009. 
and the bank didn't keep up on the lawn or the pool or anything. Okay. We and would I like take it. Okay, go ahead. We would like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit one, fine mitigation request. Exhibit two, order assessing fine. Exhibit three, verification of ownership. All right, and what is the fine amount? It should be like. The fine's $800. Oh, 800 whole dollars? Wow, that's nothing. All right, ma'am. So you took the property over in 2009 and you cleaned it up and you maintained the pool and all of that, right? Right, right. The pool's always been maintained. The grass has always been mowed. All right, and the fine's only $800? Yeah, and you said you had a title search done? They did not. When You you did not have a title search done when you bought it? No. no. She, has, she has realtor malpractice going, but it's so far beyond the statute of limitations that it's not funny. All right, here's what I'm going to do with you. It's costing the village about $250 to release this in attorney's fees and recording costs. That's what they have to pay, okay. whether I reduce it or to zero or reduce it to whatever. So I'll just reduce the fine to $250, which will cover their costs. And they'll Thank you so much, take sir. It out. Uh, I need a date from the... Uh, 30 days. We'll make it... <laughs> you're going to give me a date for everyone. Make it 60. And everyone will be happy. 60 days would be 613. By 613. You can't make the payment before you get the order. You probably won't get the order until next week because I usually sign them on Friday or Monday. Then they have to make copies and mail them out. Okay. Okay, so. I've sold the house and the closing is on the 29th. You should have no problem with that. Okay. Because you will get a receipt for your payment of some sort or at least if, some acknowledgement. If you, if you pay it in cash, it'll get released faster. So if time is of the essence for you, you need to come with pay with cash not a check because the village holds checks I'll, I'll pay cash and then it can get released within three days usually of the okay payment. great yep. so thank you so you much good? you're good i have much more entertaining ones following this one. next one is 11-0617-1170 grand duke way brian c and james hazeltine we would like to enter the following into evidence Exhibit 1, fine mitigation request. Exhibit 2, order assessing fine. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. And Exhibit 4, affidavit of compliance. So, Madam Chair, I can read them into the... The second case is... 1170. Following into evidence request exhibit two order assessing fine exhibit three verification of ownership and exhibit four affidavit of compliance okay so your name sir Brian Hazeltine and why should the fine be reduced special matter should I oh, can, give, wait, I can give you the fine amounts if you what like there's gonna be 11 0617 the fine amount is six hundred and fifty dollars and this 17-0426, the fine is one, excuse me, $11,750. Okay. Well, you it took was care never of in disrepair for the $11,000 one. It was a permit wasn't closed out. <coughs> mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Yep. All right, so you have pyramids in the spoil. You took care of that fairly rapidly because it's only $650. Bucks. Um, yeah, I don't even know if I even signed for that, so I don't, it, that uh, may have been why it didn't move so fast, you know. Yeah, well, the real one is the 17-426 yeah. case. And that was just, that was a, a permit didn't get closed. Yeah. All right. The house wasn't ever in any disrepair, you know, at any time. It was at the beginning, but once I pulled the permit, it got fixed, and but I just never closed it out. Okay. What is the village's position with regards to these? The, on the first case, because of the low fine amount, as, as you indicated previously, there's additional costs to the village. There's also costs to the village to be here tonight for legal representation and also to prepare the orders from tonight's hearing, so we're opposing that reduction. And in the second case, we'd be amenable to reducing it to $3,177.82 by 613. All right. Um, they're willing to reduce the fine from eleven seven to three thousand one hundred and seventy seven dollars. I'm sure you proposed a different amount. Tell me what it is and why. What's that? What's the amount that you would like case number seventeen four twenty six reduced to and why? What's Which the one's that? That's the uh, 
permit expired for the siding soffit. But I don't think it was ever in a disrepair, though. That's the it's problem. It's not a disrepair question. It's a, you didn't close out the permit yeah, ever. I understand. And then there was an order entered, and it has a daily fine. I hear it. That just compounds and compounds I and know, compounds. Yeah. So it's kind of like a self-inflicted wound. So yeah, what no. are you willing to uh, deal with on this one? So it's be the last one. Thanks. Yeah. Well, good. I, I always like to hear it'll be the last one. So what, what are you thinking? Okay. All right. So, three twenty-five on the first fine of six hundred fifty by six thirteen, and a thousand dollars does not seem unreasonable for the. And it's all, the money's already in escrow because the house is sold. Okay. So, whenever that is put on a public record or you give me a piece of paper with the amount, I can send it to my uh, title company and they can release it and pay it. Okay. <coughs> Got it. And that could be like tomorrow because that's. Well, it's not going to be tomorrow already. anyway because I'm not signing anything till Monday usually. No, I'm just saying in general. Oh, so, yeah. No, it's, it's all good. So. Got it. You're done. All right. Thank you. Next. You'll get it in the order in the you'll, mail. You'll get the orders in the mail. What, each one. You need to give a card or something to the code enforcement officer so they can give you a copy. I'm going to take up a copy if you'd like. To let thank you. Up. Yeah, I heard him out there in the hall. Got a loud voice. Well, you know, you can't be louder than a lawyer. Three twenty-five. I cut it in half. A uh, thousand. You too. Next is eighteen dash one seven zero two one zero six two seven Misty Lane Randall Randall J. Excuse me, Randall G. and Christine Ives. I'd like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, fine mitigation request. Exhibit 2, order assessing fine. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, affidavit of compliance. Okay, and what is the fine amount here? $15,150. Your name, sir? Randall Lives. Thank you. <coughs> is that 1L, Randall? It is 2Ls. I ask these questions, and I spell your last name, please. I V E S. Kind of like Burl. Um, exactly like Burl. And what is your relationship to the property? I am the owner. Judge Magistrate, are you on the you're on the last one on page nine? I'm, oh, we're doing the last one on page nine. Okay, never mind. Yes, sir. Okay, that's pretty good for two thousand. Well, they're both two thousand eighteen cases. <laughs> I'll give myself that. Okay, so I just have to circle these and cross those out. All right, sir. So you managed to rack up a fifteen thousand one hundred fifty dollar fine for having a shed in the wrong place without a permit. Um, so why should the fine be reduced? Well, uh, I, I, first of all, I you know I didn't realize I was being fined while the variance uh, was uh, in process. So it was a very long and uh, drawn out process, which I'm, I'm sure you're you're aware. But I did get um, I did get a variance. And signed off on uh, so I, I'm just I'm asking for the reduction okay um, what's the village's position he, he did he, he is what he's saying is correct he actually did go through the variance process which does take time um, unfortunately that's the choice he made he could have removed the structure that's in the setback um, but he chose to go through but we're not we're not opposing reduction I have a number I'd like to hear his before I give mine What's your number? $3,789.46. I don't know. I'm trying for logical consistency here. So I took an $11,000 and 
fine and waived it down to a thousand. I'll take a fifteen thousand dollar fine and waive it down to fifteen hundred. That's acceptable. Because you actually, and the reason I'm doing this is you did go through the variance procedure. You tried. You succeeded. So you shouldn't be penalized for finally getting some relief. Understood. Appreciated. So is that by you six thirteen? You get an order in the mail by six thirteen. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Outstanding. Thank you, sir. All right. All right, so oh, just give us one sec. Are we uh Oh, um God, that was da, 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 da. That was Mariba Singh's cousin. So you may want to just bring that back in the office later and toss a note on it that it's uh, yeah. it's twenty two dash three ten. Oh, we just had another one walk in too. All oh, good. You're not late. All right, everyone, while they're sitting there talking and trying to figure out what your files are, uh, I get to swear you all in because some of you are definitely new and, and some of you are probably new. So just raise your right hand, say I do when we're done. Does everyone swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Oh, right Wrong hand. Right hand. Say I do. Everyone does. Good. Okay. We're resworn while they're still playing around with the files. Stuff so mixed up this time with just the new guy. And then I have to call you out. Oh my god, I can't even see it. Oh, what is this thing? Oh. Okay. Seven five six. Seven five six. Are we gonna do five six seven? No, we're going to page six. Six, okay. Case 22 0308. 22 116 Davila Avenue, John and Terry Thompson. Oh, 116 Segovia, okay. It's actually a slip of that. What? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh. Error on the uh, agenda. It's supposed to be Sevilla. Oh. Sevilla. Sevilla. Give us one second, Magistrate. Officers I'm just writing down numbers anyway. That was 10. That will be 11. Appearances, Sevilla. I've always wanted to go. <laughs> so we're going to do cash <laughs> 22 Oh, 308 first. Code section 622105.5, permit 211168, expired for replastering the pool. I observed this on 22422. The notice of violation was mailed out 22422 and was signed for on 22622. The notice of hearing was mailed out 3722 and was signed for on 3922. We'd like to enter the following into evidence Exhibit 1, notice of violation, Exhibit 2, notice of hearing, Exhibit 3. Verification of ownership and exhibit four permit information. All right, give me a second here. Okay. We have a COVID signed green card, so you have service. Gotcha. Okay. Your name for the record, ma'am? Sherry Thompson. All right, Ms. Thompson. Ms. Thompson, those exhibits I just handed you, those are the exhibits of those we'd like to enter into evidence. They're the notice documentation for tonight's hearing, um, photographs of violation and verification of ownership. Do you have any objection to those documents? No, ma'am. Thank you. All right. So she has a permit that expired that needs to be redone. Extended. Extended. Got to get the proper term. She needs to extend her permit. Okay. 
So I've been in contact with the pool company, and when I first received the letter, I contacted the woman with whom I had been working and learned that she's no longer there, thus no response. So <laughs> the new person is working, and I corresponded with her today, and she said that she had requested a new permit, and I called, and um, it doesn't show that it's been requested. We're so not I've since emailed. She's to not supposed to be requesting a new permit, though. She's supposed to be extending the permit you already had. Okay, so I will go back to her then to say extend. Because we'll renew. Okay. Renew the document. Okay. And, and you have a copy of the documentation or the agenda or whatever. Give her give her the permit number, too. It's, okay. It's 21 1168. If you don't have it there, write it down. Is it on this document that you've given me? Yes. Okay. Uh, and may I keep this? Yes. yes. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to tell them you need to extend 21 1168. Okay. Usually it's just a, how much is, are, do you do doubles? You do It's 50% of the original permit fee. Oh, so you, that's too, you're too reasonable. Most people do double the original permit fee. <laughs> so they have to pay 50% of the original permit fee to extend it. And then once you get into, and then once the extension is granted, you are out of the code enforcement, de enforcement department and you're over in the building department. Okay. So you have six months to get it inspected. Get it inspected right away. Okay. Are, they, are, they, are they done with the pool? The pool's finished, and so it's I mean, beautiful. We were using it's probably it too cold. Had, you know, <laughs> we were having a fun time last summer, but um, not knowing it had been inspected. So is it my responsibility to call and schedule the inspection, or is it the company's? It's usually the company's, but you may want to help them along with okay. the process. Okay. Like, do I need to call for you? Okay. Because some people are like really busy doing pools. I mean, my neighbor just got one done, so I think it's a thing again. Okay. So, and Special yeah, Magistrate, if I could, um, this the error on the on the address, the Segovia instead of Sevilla, it's supposed to be Sevilla, was on the notice. If if we could have her stipulate the service, she's here tonight. She won't have to come back. I think she'll comply out before the date. Um, otherwise, we'll have to renotice her. She'll have to come back to another hearing. That just doesn't seem. So what are we doing now? Are you, ma'am? Will you accept service for tonight's hearing? There was an error on the notice document. It had one sixteen Segovia instead of Sevilla. Are you saying? Tell her it's okay. Sure. You won't have to come back that way. You're yeah, going to comply no problem. out. No problem. Okay. okay. Yeah, they'd have to bring you back just so you could get your permit re-extended again. So, all right, five twenty six six eight. Yes, sir. Twenty five dollars a day. Okay. So does that start today, the $25 a day? No, it does not start until May 26th, which oh, is okay, after so my birthday. Okay. So you, if, as long as the permit is issued or the extension, I take it back, as long as the extension is issued before May 26th, everything's good. And it actually won't start till the 27th. She has the 26th to comply. Okay, so the, the fine would not start until the 27th. So as long as you keep on top of the pool company and get them to extend, you should be fine. Okay. And if you're, you're having trouble, call the, the code mail. enforcement department and tell them if you need, if, if you're close. No, call I them, found the person now, so we've been in contact. So I think they are yeah, you on should top be of it. I just think the person that had been doing it left. And yeah, she was probably too responsible, and they, they get rid of her. Okay. okay. You'll well. get an order in the mail, hopefully Thank at you. the right address. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Next is 22-031. Villa. Dash one 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 two and this Velez has twenty six. I observed this violation on twelve thirty twenty one. So now knows a violation uh, certified mail on twelve thirty twenty one and received it back on one eight twenty two. Um, I so now knows of hearing on two two twenty two and it was returned on two four twenty two. I'd like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, Notice of Violation. Exhibit 2, Notice of Hearing. Exhibit 3, Verification Ownership. Exhibit 4, AS400 Permit Information. And Exhibit 5, Pictures. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone was out on the boat again, I see. <laughs> Did you get a tan? No. Dang. Okay. Please give us your name and your address, sir. Moises Lopez, my address is 120 Sandpiper Avenue, Royal Palm Beach, 33411. 
M O I S T S. Yeah, the guy with the Bible. Okay, and emphasis. I don't know if they have their name in the right orders, but it's all good. Uh, all right, so they say you have a tiki structure out there without a permit. This is a bad picture because the other one shows it so much better. There you go. Um, sir, if I can get special magistrate, if I can get the documents oh. in. The documents I just handed you, sir, those are the exhibits the village would like to enter into evidence. It's the notice documents for tonight's hearing, proof of ownership, the village's permit information, and photographs of the violation, which are going to be on the screen in a second. Do you have any objection to just those documents? No. All right. Admitted without objection. Then we get to the actual case. All right. So there's an exception for tiki bars or tiki things done by the Seminole tribe, is there? Yeah, but I don't think that one will qualify. I'm just get, getting, it's getting, like the, getting the whole breadth of tiki life out here in Royal yeah. Palm Beach. This is more like an outdoor kitchen. But it's not a tiki bar. It's a paradise grill. It's just a grill. A well, lot of people thinking it's a tiki bar, but it's just a grill. And that, that, you well, know, the problem is you have what is called a structure. Yes, yes. And but the problem with that is once they call it a structure, you get to deal with permitting. But I'm very soon, I'm putting it just for now. I try to take the permit for, I'm, I'm waiting for the construction for the pool. I th uh, I called the company pool last week and he told me very soon, I'm waiting just the permit for Royal Palm. And when the pool is ready, I gotta move the, 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 the grill in front with the pool. So that's the reason I put it just for now. So that's the reason I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, just waiting. Yeah, but we, have, <laughs> we still have to deal with uh, the fact that it exists there. And we can't wait for the pool company to do yes. things because Pool companies are erratic at times. Yes, yes. So we either have to get it permitted, which is silly no, because yeah. it doesn't make any sense to permit it if you're going to move it. But if this is just a grill structure and you remove the posts and the roof, because you're going to gonna have to do that anyway to move it. Yeah, the roof is moving completely. Every time when I live in my, my another place, every time when the storm or something, is easy to move. I take the the poles and stay for you know, every time when there's coming a storm or something me by herself I take the roof it's well, easy for moving the, the, the roof needs to be removed and then you need to call out a code uh, officer to inspect well, the special factory. magistrate if he gets a permit he has six months to get the final inspection on the permit yeah, but and I'm hopefully saying... Hopefully in six months he'd be able to place it in the spot where yeah, he wants to put it. Yeah, all he has to do when he applies. Okay, so yeah. they're saying the smart thing to do here is to apply for a permit, get it issued, and then you have six months to finalize it. Oh, okay. You have and six you may, months to put it where he's going to permit it. And then you're probably going to have to extend it. it down. No, no, he's probably going to have to either extend it or amend it to the right spot, correct? Well, if, if, if he, he gets put, to that six-month mark, it's okay. still not ready. You can extend it before that expiration date with no fee. Okay. Okay. Another six so you're going to need to want to permit this thing. Yeah, just when you permit it, because I think for that you're going to need a survey. Every time I'm, I, my, my um, which you might call the person who tried to take the permit is trying, but every time they take new stuff, so it's the first time when I do it. So You have so a survey for the pool, right? Yes. Okay, so that same survey, you uh -huh. would just mark on it. Where, where you're going to be permanently putting that structure. All right, sounds good. All right, That's so good. see that nice lady there named Hunter? She's going to be your friend. So All you're right. going to talk to Hunter. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. I appreciate and it. And Hunter will probably Ooh. flip you off to the Hunter of the building department so everything can get taken care of. So 526. Definitely get a permit. All right, sounds good, madam. Thank you. 526, 68, 25, correct? Yes, sir. Granted. You have until May 26th to get the permit issued, which means you need to get it in weeks before that date because it takes a while to get these things processed, correct? Yes. Good. Got it, sir. Thank you. Appreciate okay. it. Okay. You get an order in the mail, sir. Have a good day. All right. You too, sir. All right. Next, we have two Page more people seven, left. seven, second down, 22-0076, 104 Granada Street, Borlos, Devoted Care, LLC. Code section 622-108.4, they replaced or installed a door without a permit. I observed this violation on 118.22, sent out a notice of violation on 120.22 and posted that to the property. 
So now notice of hearing on 228.22 and posted that as well. I'd like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice violation affidavit of service. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing affidavit of service. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, AS400 permit information. And Exhibit 5, pictures. Okay. Please tell us your name. Marta, please. What is that? Marta, M-A-R-T-T, Sano. Okay, Martha Zizi, spell your last name, please. S-A-N-O-N. S-A-N-O-N. And what is your position with Borlis Devoted Care, LLC? I'm the owner. Good, okay. And ma'am, those documents I just handed you, those are the exhibits that you would like to enter into evidence. The first exhibit is a notice of violation, then a notice of hearing, proof of ownership, the village's permit information, and then pictures will be on the screen. Do you have any objection to those documents? Thank All right, admitted without objection. So, did someone replace your door? Yes. Okay, I'm just saying, is it a contractor? Because normally I would tell you just to go get a permit yourself, but you can't because this is owned by an LLC. So it yes. has to be done by a contractor. Yes. So if the contractor did it, the contractor needs to pull the permit, correct? They just submit one. Okay, that's wonderful. They may have told you they submitted one, but Hunter's shaking their head no. Yeah, there's nothing in here. See, what they do now is everything is done online. I probably couldn't get a permit now if I tried. Everything's done online, so if they had actually done it, she would see it on her screen. So I have the receipt and everything from Home Depot. Not from Home Depot. It's from the village. You need to get no. a per permit from the village, and your contractor needs to no, no. sign off on it. Home Depot, the oh. contractor Home Depot okay. applied, submitted two days ago. I called them yesterday. All right, what what documents do you have? Because it's not in the screen. Well, I only have a receipt that I paid in full with the company. Okay. The problem is they may tell you certain things, but these certain things may not be correct. Okay. They have not applied for the permit formally because it would be done online. And as soon as it was opened and done, it would be in the system. Yeah. And if, it's, if she can't look it up for your property, and she's looking at it right now, mm -hmm. correct? There's nothing done. Do it. They may. There's been no permit applied. And you show me that, and then you, you're going to remember on because the people from Home Depot. So it's we're asking for or so we're going Well, I'm it's fast. And what you Four parents with the five twenty five dollar a day fine. Yeah. Be easy to do. engineering or anything contractor to carry on the door you don't do you need to spec where have you contractor to do it the specific They had you bought a shed. I don't even know if they still exist. All of those sheds. We get uh, so they know what they're doing with the 
with the system. They just have to do it. Yeah, they haven't done it yet. So you can tell them, I went to the hearing. You told me that you had permitted it, but it's still not in their system. So I asked sure. them, this adult took two months. That's not true. See? Right now, they're, they're about a week to two weeks if everything is submitted properly. So that you need to make sure you stay on them. And to do yourself a favor, email them so you have dates, so you can show me emails. I've been trying every day from April 14th through May 10th to get these people to move. And then you'll show me your receipt from when you paid them to do this. Yeah, I fed them on the phone. That's so, so exactly, but you're going to hold all that, but you're going to have that as proof to me that you've done everything you can so I can be mad at them instead of you. Okay. Okay? So you're going to say, and I want your email address so I can follow up. And you're going to say, I talked to you today on blah, 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 and you said you were going to do it. And just keep doing that to them. Because okay. the special magistrate said, I need a record. Right. And special and magistrate, if you see on your screen, the courtesy notice was originally written on December 2nd of last year. So we're yeah, four months so in. I, I'm, not, I'm not yelling at you either. I'm doing the 510, 511. Thank you, sir. It's all good. I'm just trying to tell her that she needs to climb on top of the Home Depot folks to make sure that they pay attention to this. Okay. Otherwise, you're being told things right. that are not correct, which is my polite way of saying they're telling you things that are not correct. <clears throat> okay, 510, 511, 25 is granted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Now we're going to page nine, the fine mitigation hearing. Okay. Which there are one is three this? of them, the, the Morgate Circle. There are three near the bottom. Uh, yeah. 17 0985, 113 Morgate Circle, Johan Alexander. 17 1780, 113 Morgate Circle, Johan Alexander. And 20 0850, 113 Morgate Circle. Like 10 are those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1 is the fine mitigation request. Exhibit 2, order assessing fine. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. And exhibit four is your affidavit of compliances. Times three. Your name, sir? Can you spell your name? O U D I N Y S A V A L C. And your relation to the property? I'm an owner. You're you're the owner? All right, so Special uh, magistrate in the first case, 17 0985, the fine amount is $1,325. $1,325, hold on. Yeah, 13, okay. One, three, three, five. The second case, 17 1780 is $3,300. $3, oh. $750. All right. Let's when did you? property. I'm in. Your partner. So his husband. Gotcha. All right. So you've racked up all these fines. What kind of disabled vehicle was this? At this point, I don't even know. Special Manager, that was, was a repeat brand? violation. The mm -hmm. disabled vehicle was a repeat. Well, I'm just trying to th think if I know the property or because I'm pretty good at vehicles. Um, I'm sure there's pictures in the case files. What, what is the brand? No, it's just they, they have repeat disabled vehicles parking over sidewalk. Another one is disabled vehicles. So there seems to be an issue with disabled vehicles yeah, on the property. Because I don't have it's just me and my wife. I, that's the thing that I don't have. The only disabled vehicle I had was a vehicle. I had a flat tire, and it wasn't disabled. So. Well, actually, by definition, with the village, a flat tire is a disabled vehicle. I know, and I fixed it after I spoke to them. Yeah. So they had them with flat tires. They had them with expired tags, no tags. Uh, the expired tags, I think we spoke 
Okay, this, this one I believe. Well, That's the car that she was um, driving. Okay. All right, so why should the fines be reduced? Honestly, Your Honor, the last time I came, <laughs> there was a misunderstanding because in my mind I thought I would be paying the 2500 for everything. And then that's when I went to pay that I realized there was like three more open. Because all these cars, this particular car, for example, is my sister's car. That's the one she used to go to work. She left the house probably in 2018. It, it was her car. That's the car that she was driving. And the real case that I have with a disabled vehicle, I spoke to Margaret, and I told her, how do I go at it? Because this car I bought in an auction. So I took it. She told me to put it in the a side of the house. I did. And then they took a picture of that same car and say it was not supposed to be there, which was really confusing. But um, since then, you know, I, I, all the cars that we have is my, my wife's car and my car. Well, when you did put the car on the side of the house, it didn't have a tag on it. Again, that's kind of, like I said, that's why I had to go to the, I spoke to you. You told me if I put the car on the side of the, of the house, it will be fine, but I didn't know that it had to have a, Tag. Like I said, I would have told I you to first, put a tag a, on it. No, no, you didn't. You, you told me if I put it aside of the car, it's fine. So there is a miscommun miscommunication. And that's what I did. In my mind, I got it corrected. So, like I said, I mean, I'm not pl trying to blame anyone, but it was like a lack of communication, I'd say. Okay. All right, what is the village's position with regards to these? Well, as you said, I think you were here, what, two hearings ago? You got some other fines reduced? No, that was December. Yeah, a month, couple months ago. Uh, the issue with these is the, re the repeat violations of the village typically doesn't But those are reduction. the same. Like I said, when I came on December, it was a long hearing. So the magistrate left those three. Those are nothing new. No, I know. Okay, but no, but no, there's a pattern that. of violating the village code is, is what I'm trying to make. A clear. pattern. So there's to reduce no pattern. these, and now well, he's blaming the code enforcement officer. If I have two 17s and a 20, I have a pattern. I'm sorry? I have two 17 cases, two cases from 2017, and then I have a 2020 case, which is also a disabled vehicle case. So if I have three years in between two disabled vehicle cases, oh, no. I have a pattern. May I say something? Sure. I know you don't go by we call like things that are in the past but i had a van and i had the tag on it and then the only reason why it had i i had like the the, the tag on it like a, one of those temporary tag when they gave me the, the letter they asked me to remove two of the cars so they did not mention the yellow car and then after i put the tag back they said it's been fixed for these two cars. But when I got here, that's when they mentioned the yellow one. Otherwise, I would have just bring the registration because I had a temporary registration that they sent to me by email. So, And we spoke about that when I came here. And if you go to my house, you will only find one car or two because it's just me and him living in the house. Okay. So... What is the village's position with regards to these fines? What is he asking the fines to be reduced to? Okay, what do you want the fines to be reduced to for all three cases? Because I'm looking at three, five, sixty, three hundred approximately. Sixty-three twenty-five ish, sixty-three seventy-five maybe. Yeah, sixty-three seventy-five. Is that good old-fashioned math? <laughs> so I'm looking at six thousand three hundred seventy-five dollars in fines. What do you propose the fine amount for all of them? Can I pay 10% of it so I can remove the lien on the property? Because I've been trying to refinance for a while now, and uh, I can't get the lien on the house. On the house. Well, that would be $600, which would not even cover their costs of yeah, removing and, and the lien. Again, the issue is that if there's so many cars that are unregistered and disabled that he doesn't know which one the, the violations are speaking to, that's indicative of a problem. No, no, I just wanted to make sure that it was not the car that I moved aside of the property. Because I think this was wrong. Even if I paid for it, it was wrong. 
Because if you told me to move it next to it, and I did, and then next thing I know, you went to a side of the property and take pictures. It's like a setup. I don't go on the side of your property, How sir. did you get this picture that, that didn't have photographs a photographs from the road or the sidewalk. I don't go on your property. Again, how did you get it? Because I have a gate. And that's not the thing. You told me to put it there, and next thing I know, you just tell me, hey, it was not supposed to be there. So it's, that's completely wrong. Well, all of that stuff would have been would have been discussed at the violation hearing and the fine hearing. I'm sorry, what? All of, all of that would have been discussed at both the previous hearings, the violation hearing and the fine assessment hearing. I can give you the village's numbers if you like, Special yeah. Magistrate. In the first case, 17 one $17, 17-1780, $1,442.70. $20, 20-0850, $1,110.06. All right, they're looking at about 4,500 and change. 30, that's the total? Uh, no, 3,500 and change. Yeah, 36, 13, 20. Which is about half. So, you know, you're here a lot. I mean, you're here a lot in terms of you've got a lot of cases on. And you had a lot of cars. And you didn't have them all tagged and some had flat tires and stuff and stuff. I mean, I had a guy on my block in La Mancha who had to get rid of a Cadillac because he couldn't keep his tires inflated. And it was a decent looking caddy too, but he just couldn't do it. So he finally got rid of it. You know, I kept thinking I should knock on his door and tell him to buy an inflator. But you're one of these people who are, you know, you've gotten a lot of attention and you've gotten all of these things. Now, do you have a number that you can propose that's realistic to reduce these fine stuff? Because they're saying, well, it's 6,000, yeah, 6,300, 6,375, somewhere in there. They're saying basically half. What are you saying? You're saying 10% because that doesn't even cover the cost of releasing it. I'm really going to a bad time now. Most of the time I would just take the 2,000 because I'll be, I'll be trying to refine it. But now I, I really can't. Even the eight hundred that I owe, I owe eight hundred. I was supposed to come and get it, and things got complicated. So that's you know, anything that could help would. But it's 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 not. It's we're going through some difficult time. Okay. All right, seven fifty per case by six thirteen. That's two thousand two hundred twenty-five. Seven fifteen, yeah, twenty-two hundred dollars, twenty-two something, which is less than what they want. Okay, right around the twenty-five hundred dollars. I heard you say something about earlier. So seven fifty per per case by six thirteen. Okay. Okay. And you'll get an order in the mail. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Is that the end of our live program? Yes, sir. I would give it two or three minutes. Let me go to the facilities and stretch my legs. I want to get a DVT blood clot here.
All right, page one, number one. Thank you. It's the fine assessment hearing, 21-0482-103, Seminole Lakes Drive, Seminole Lakes Homeowners Association. I'd like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, order granting continuance and setting fine assessment. Exhibit 2, verification of ownership. Exhibit 3, pictures. All right, you have COVID-19 green card signed, so you have service. They showed up last time. Did No, they didn't. I thought someone had showed up on this gate at some time. Yeah, because I got a continuance. Okay, well, the buck stops here. It's been out of compliance for 20 days, so we're asking for a fine of 500 and continuing. 500 plus continuing is granted. 21-0532914, Linda Court, Nora, and Sua. I'd like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1. Order granting continuance and setting fine assessment hearing. Exhibit two, verification of ownership. Exhibit three, permit information. Exhibit four, pictures. All right. Um, how do we have service here? I have a copy of the official receipt, but I don't have much more than that. Do what service? do you need? Does that kind of involve service? Was it posted? Was it? Oh, I'm sorry. I have actual service. I spoke to her. See, there we go. That's all I needed. All right, so you have service via actually talking to the person, which is wonderful. Yes. All right, so now we've reached that hurdle. I'd like a very entertaining paver job. He has a very entertaining job. Pretty paint job, pavers, the bottom of the swell looks like. It's gravel. Oh, it's just gravel? Gravel and the swell. They need to remove it and put sod. Okay. What would you like on this one? This since one's it's been out of compliance thing. for one day, so twenty-five dollars in continuing. Twenty-five plus continuing is granted. Twenty-one dash zero nine five eight one 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 West Saratoga Boulevard, Eugene and Max Bill Singh. Does the building department like smile when they dump all these on your cases, all these cases on your desk? They're like, ah, right, we don't want to do with this anymore. Like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit one, order finding violation, affidavit of service. Exhibit two, notice of hearing and affidavit of service. Exhibit three, verification of ownership. And exhibit four, uh, permit information. All right, service via posting is valid. I see sent over compliance, AC and 18. Well, at least it was 12 of 18, so it was really 19. I only ignored it for a few years. This one's been out of compliance for 75 days, so a fine of 1875 and continuing. 1875 plus continuing is granted. Maybe they'll pay attention. Thank you. 21 0959 111 West Saratoga Boulevard, Eugene and Max Bill Saint. Oh. Code section, uh, excuse me, we'd like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, order finding violation, affidavit of service. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing and affidavit of service. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. Exhibit four, permit information. So they got a AC permit, then they got an AC disconnect switch permit, and then they ignored it all. So you have service via posting, what would you like? Same thing, 75 days, 1875 and continuing. This will be a shocker, but granted. 22-0131-12016, Greenway Circle, South 102, Everton, Lug, and Mercy Scott. We'd like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, order finding violation. Exhibit 2, verification of ownership. And Exhibit 3, permit information. Sign green card equals service. Windows doors and ignores. This has been out of compliance for 13 days, so 325 and continuing. 325 plus continuing. That's usually our normal amount. Granted. 22-0168-10972 Grandview Way. Dorian D. Ingram and Ednard Virgil. I'd like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, order Trump. finding violation. Exhibit 2, verification of ownership. Exhibit 3, pictures. COVID green card. Huh. I think I'll claim victory. Is a bus close enough to a truck? Yeah. Um, they do have this thing in the village called the school board bus depot off of Business Way. All right, you have a COVID green card, you have service, the bus been, does not belong there. What would we like for a fine? It's been out of compliance for 27 days, so 1350 and continuing. I like all these strange amounts. They keep me all entertained and aware during the signing of all these things. Mm -hmm. Granted. 
Next. 22-0172 is being pulled. 21-0903107 Barcelona Drive, BB and Dipcan Ramathon. Section of the following document into, ev into evidence, Exhibit 1, previous order finding violation affidavit. Ownership. Well, you have. No, it's and too much fun. <laughs> is sir posting, and lots of stuff are stained. Lots. Lot. I mean, it's, yeah, the guy, there's a sale on uh, pressure cleaners at Home Depot right now. Yeah, they need one. Uh, what's the amount on this one? This one's been out for 13 days, so 30, 325, excuse me, 325 and continuing. Thank you. 21-1004-10631 Fascination Lane, PAHMS Borrower, LLC. I can the following documents and evidence. Exhibit 1, previous order, find a violation. Exhibit 2, verification of ownership. Exhibit 3, AS400 permanent information. Exhibit 4, pictures. Now, you've never heard of a rooftop garden before? <laughs> Sign green card equals service. And the fence without a permit. Oh, that's boring. But uh, rooftop gardens are so urban. More cities. This one, again, has been out for 13 days, so 325 and continuing. <coughs> I want to see where the, the rooftop garden is. Uh, where's the... It's on that patio there. Oh, okay. That's probably better. <coughs> 325 plus continuing is granted. Thank you. 21-1025-365, Las Palmas Street, Progress Residential Borrower 2, LLC. I'd like to enter those following documents and evidence. Exhibit 1, previous order finding violation. Exhibit 2, verification ownership. Exhibit 3, pictures. All right, USPS track and confirm shows that you have service. You know, just painting part of the driveway just makes it look worse. You know, they should have done at least most of the driveway on the top. What is this one? Another 13 one. days, so 325 plus continuing is granted. Thank you. 21-1068-1094, Concert Way, Dean R. Caesar. I can enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, previous order, find in violation. Exhibit 2, verification ownership. Exhibit 3, pictures. All right, COVID sign, green card is service. What is this one? Garbage can, yes, I can see it. House numbers, no, can't I can't. see them. <laughs> so, this is 13 again, 325 and continuing, yeah. Granted. Thank you. 21 1113 170 Adele Avenue, Lenar Homes, LLC. I'd like to enter those following documents into evidence. <coughs> Exhibit 1, previous order, find and violation. Exhibit 2, verification ownership. Exhibit 3, pictures. So, are these going to be feather flags? I have to guess. Yeah. Yeah, partially. Eh. I don't think I can credit myself. These are actual flag flags on top of a sign. Do they think they're going to actually sell houses with those flags? They must. They must have a marketing study somewhere. All right, so you have service the uh, signed green card. Yes. Yes. This one again, 13 days, 325, 325 and continuing. 325 plus continuing is really affordable to me. 22-0230-76, Barrow Terrace, Dana S. Davies. I can enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, previous order, find in violation. Exhibit 2, verification ownership. Exhibit 3, pictures. This is the one I wanted to see. <laughs> Kept seeing it go flashing by. I wonder if I could, you know, like take the Jeep around the house and call it a trail. Because I'm like, oh, what's wrong with, you know, Plants on the fence. We have plants on the fence on Royal Palm Beach Boulevard on those concrete ivy things. The fence things. on the house. They're everywhere. they're everywhere. Yeah, these are not yard people. All right, you have service via a red pen sign COVID card. Three twenty-five. Yeah, three twenty-five and continuing. Granted. Thank Repeat you. violations. Twenty-two dash zero four seven one three zero three Las Palmas Street, Hector B and Rosemary Pert. I would like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit one. Notice of repeat violation. Notice of hearing. USPS tracking. Exhibit two. Previous order find in violation. Exhibit three. Verification ownership. Exhibit four. Pictures. Exhibit five. Affidavit of compliance. This is for code section fourteen four. 
disabled unused vehicle. I observed this violation on 315.22. So now notice a violation on notice of hearing on 317.22, and it was delivered on 319.22. You know, my first employee or employer had one of those Mercedes, and it was the squishiest car. <laughs> I mean, it, had, it was like floating over things. You just smashed down the accelerator, and it wouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> but it's really pretty, and it's convertible. All right, do you have a signed green card? What would you like? This one's been out of, or observed in violation for 23 days, so 1150 not continuing. 1150, no continuing is granted. Thank you. Violation hearings, 21-0667, 768 Orchid Drive, Iris, Iris Conleaf, and Anthony Tate. Have you seen their names before? It's her turn. No. You know what, Hunter? You Never can mind. Leave. He can keep it for a minute. I, I was going through these, and now they're all out of order. Oh, okay. 768. Orchid Drive. Yep, that's it. That's the one we're on. Sorry. You do a good stall. Hi. <laughs> okay. We'd like to enter uh, uh, code section 94, fence and disrepair. I observed this on 8-12-21. The notice of violation and notice of hearing were mailed out together on 1-7-22 and were posted. We'd like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation, notice of hearing, and affidavit of service. Exhibit 2, verification of ownership. Exhibit 3, pictures. All right, service the uh, posting is good. What would you like here? This one we're asking for compliance by 526 or the 6-8 fine assessment hearing or a $25 day fine. 526, 6-8, 25 is granted. 21-0732 is being pulled. 21 dash Hunter, Hunter. <laughs> Twenty-one 21-0993105 Santa Monica Avenue. Ilya Bnell Rock. Code section 622105.5, permit 1914-19 expired for a roof. Observe this 102521. The notice of violation was mailed out 102721 and was posted. The notice of hearing went out certified mail 22322 and was signed for on 22522. I'd like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. Exhibit 4, permit information. All right, you have service via posting. Compliance by 526 or the 68 fine assessment here, and your $25 a day fine. 526, 68, 25 is granted. No. Thank you. Next is 21 1086 11543 Oleander Drive, Dax A. Ezer, and Shelly Ron. Code section 622108.4. Work done without a permit. Pavers um, slash concrete. I observed this on 12621. The notice of violation and notice of hearing were mailed out 2222 and was signed for on 2522. We'd like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation and notice of hearing. Exhibit 2, verification of ownership. Exhibit 3, pictures. Exhibit 4, affidavit of compliance. All right, service via signed green card or COVID signed green card is granted or is good. We're asking like? for finding a fact. Finding a fact is granted. Thank you. 22-0002-11763 Boston Drive. Oh, I'm sorry, we did that one. 22-0020-764 Camellia Drive, Yahara Lobo. Code section 622-105.5, permit 1915-91, expired for an AC changeout. I observed this on 11322. The notice of violation was mailed out 11422 and was signed for on 11822. The notice of hearing was sent out certified mail on 131.22 and was posted. 
We would like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, Notice of Violation. Exhibit 2, Notice of Hearing. Exhibit 3, Verification of Ownership. Exhibit 4, Permit Information. All right, so sign green card equals service. What would you like? Compliance by 428 or the 6-8 fine assessment hearing or $25 a day fine. Okay, I've got the 6-8 part. What is the first part? 428. 428, I thought so. 428, 6-8, 25. Yes, sir. Kind of interesting. You didn't want them to do five hearings? Okay. Uh, next, please. 22-0021, 127 Alcazar Street, Progress Residential Borrower 12, LLC. Code section 622-105.5, permit expired 1919-03, uh, or, uh, a, excuse me, AC changeout. Observe this on 113-22. And the notice of violation was sent out on 113.22 and was signed for on 119.22. The notice of hearing was sent out certified mail on 2.2.22 and was posted. We'd like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. And Exhibit 4, permit information. All right, you have a signed green card by my buddy Wes Miller, who I love his stamp. I swear, I've seen like dozens of these stamps. Wes is the man. Then you have a posting on the actual notice of hearing. You have service. What would you like to be? Compliance people? by 526 or the 68 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. 22-0073 is being pulled. Good. 22-0116, 140 Ponce de Leon Street, Rosalie A. Yell. Code section 622-105.5, permit 19-2072 has expired for a pool. Observe this on 124-22. The notice of violation was mailed out certified mail on 125-22 and was signed for on 127-22. The notice of hearing was sent out certified mail on 22-22 and was posted. We would like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing and affidavit of service. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. Exhibit 4, permit information. All right, so we have a signed green card actually signed by someone during COVID. And <coughs> we have posting of other things. So you have service. What would you like? Compliance by 526 or the 6-8 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. 22-0121-1370 Thornbank Lane. Raymond Joseph and Francis Vernalis. Code section 622-105.5, permit 201606, expired for repairs. I observed this on 124-22. The notice of violation was mailed out 125-22 and was signed for on 127-22. The notice of hearing was sent out certified mail on 22-22 and was signed for on 217-22. We would like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, Notice of Violation. Exhibit 2, Notice of Hearing. Exhibit 3, Verification of Ownership. Exhibit 4, Permanent Information. So this is why Cursive has died, this guy's signature. Yeah. <coughs> so you have signed green cards for everything. What would you like? Compliance by 526 or the 6-8 hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. 22-0130 is being pulled. 22-0160 is being pulled. 22-0180. 1339 Denlow Lane, Joseph and Marie and Daniel. Code section 2318, parking on both sides of the structure. I observed this on 2322. The notice of violation was mailed out to 1222 and was signed for on 21522. The notice of hearing was mailed out 3722 and I have actual service. We would like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, Notice of Violation. Exhibit 2, Notice of Hearing. Exhibit 3, Verification of Ownership. Exhibit 4, Pictures. Exhibit 5, Affidavit of Compliance. Well, it took a long time to get to there. <coughs> Finding a fact or? Yes, sir. Granted. Thank you. And they actually signed their green card, too. This is like a trend. So actually, mm -hmm. I ran into the post office, the postal guy, and he said they're not doing that COVID anymore. They're That's making people sign now. Like well, it's bad for you, procedures. but good for them. Yeah. 22-0182, 124 West Court, Randy Ballin. Code section 622-105.5, permit 20, 2116, expired for a door. Observe this on 2322. The notice of violation was mailed out 2422 and was signed for on 21522. The notice of hearing was mailed out, <coughs> excuse me, 22822 and was signed for on 3422. We'd like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, Notice of Violation. Exhibit 2, Notice of Hearing. Exhibit 3, Verification of Ownership. And Exhibit 4, Permit Information. 
All right, so you have signed green cards for service. You're good on that. It would be like compliance by five twenty six or the six eight fine hearing or twenty five dollar day fine. Granted. Thank you. Twenty two dash zero two three nine is being pulled. Removed. Twenty two dash zero two five two is being pulled. Next page. Twenty two dash zero two eight four one four one three four nine Elm Bankway Mary F O'Neill. Or is it is it mine one ill? That's an apostrophe. Code section 2318, parking in the rear yard. I observed this on 217.22. The notice of violation was mailed out 218.22 and was signed for on 222.22. The notice of hearing was mailed out 37.22 and was signed for on 310.22. We would like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit three, verification of ownership. Exhibit four, pictures. Exhibit five, affidavit of compliance. I'm just trying to figure out how much toner you used on these pictures. No, those were actually um, giving, given to me by, by the um, homeowner. Oh. Um, what happened, I, I don't know what happened to the pictures I took. So she had given me those with a letter, if you would like to see the letter. No, what's okay. the letter say? We moved them? Okay, but it's moved, so. Are we finding a fact? Finding one? a fact, yes, sir. Granted. Thank you. 22-0305 is being pulled. 22-0005-97 Sparrow Drive. Old Daisy, Amaya Cruz, and Juan C. Luis Rodriguez. Hmm. Yeah, this is like the permit show, though. It's like, we get like, permit, 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 bad swale. I'd like to enter these following uh, code section is 15132. 51141A1 front yard has bare areas um, on, and driveway. I observed this violation on 1622. So now notice the violation on 1722. It was delivered on 11222. So now notice of hearing on 12722. It was delivered on 12922. And I posted it to the property as well. I'd like to know the following documents into evidence Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit affidavit of service, exhibit three, verification ownership, exhibit four, pictures. Okay. You have signed green cards, so you have service. We're asking for compliance by 527 or the 6 day fine hearing or $25 day fine. See, they spent all their money on pavers and they couldn't afford sod. Now they need some sod. Okay. <clears throat> Next. 22-0030-180 Sandpiper Avenue, Rahadel, Robisville, Martinez. Code section 622-105.5. Permit 190357 for windows and doors has expired. I observe this violation on 113-22. Sent out notice violation certified mail on 114-22. Posted it to the property. Sent out notice of hearing certified mail on 217-22. And posted that to the property as well. I'd like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation, affidavit of service. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing, affidavit of service. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, AS400 permit information. All right, service via posting is valid. What would you like? Compliance by 428 or the 511 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. 428-511-25 is granted. Thank you. 22-005028208 Bob White Road, Lauren Smith. Code section 622-105.59-1, building permit 210352 has expired. Observe this violation on 113.22. Send out notice of violation certified mail on 114.22, and I hand delivered that to the owner. Send out notice of hearing on 217.22, and um, that was signed for on 224.22. I'd like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, Notice of Violation, Affidavit of Service. Exhibit 2, Notice of Hearing. Exhibit 3, Verification Ownership. Exhibit 4, AS400 Permanent Information. Exhibit 5, Affidavit of Compliance. Okay, I like the way she wrote, hand delivered the Notice of Violation. <laughs> so you have service via hand delivered, as opposed yes. to posting the green cards. And you have a finding of fact on this one? Yes, yes please. Granted. Thank you. 22-0057, 216 Bella Vista Way, Elizabeth and Winston Morgan. Code section is 622-105.5. The building permit 191861 has expired. Observe this violation on 11322. Send out notice of violation certified mail on 11422. 
It was delivered on 1-18-22, sent out notice of hearing on 3-7-22. It was signed on 3-11-22. Right to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, AS-400 permit information. And Exhibit 5, affidavit of compliance. Well, you know, talk about Elizabeth. She actually spelled her name under her Kurt's name. Yeah, okay. Finding the fact is granted. Thank you. 22-0077, 201 Saratoga Boulevard East, Aaron Washburn. Code section 06190A1, 3 and 5, the sidewalk and driveway are stained. I observe this violation on 118.22. Send out notice of violation on 120.22. Posted that to the property. Send out notice of hearing on 3.122. Posted that to the property as well. I'd like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation, affidavit of service. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing, affidavit of service. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, pictures. <coughs> it's really bad when the properties on both sides have these really white driveways and sidewalks. Yeah, kind of you have this it. one sandwiched in the middle, looking all dull. Do you have courtesy of posting what would you like? Compliance by 526 or the 68 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. 22 150 Royport Circle, PHR, Florida LP. Code section is 1571 and 15141, Dead Tree. I observed this violation on 11822. Sent out a notice of violation, certified mail on 12022. It was signed for on 12622. Sent out a notice of hearing, certified mail on 22522. And that was signed for on 3722. Like to enter those follow following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, AS400 permit information. And Exhibit 5, picture. All right, you're going to have to help me out on the picture. Oh, there it's, it's, it's that one in the middle with yeah, the pavers right. around it because it sort of flades into the pine tree in the back. Yeah, it's a stick. Basically, right? Good. Yeah, it's harder in the picture, too. I yeah. Mean, much better on the screen. All right, you have service fee assigned green card. What would you like? Compliance by 526 for the 6 8 hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. 22 0086 244 La Mancha Avenue, Diana Y. and Jeffrey Valentin. Code section 161 169 2658. Operating a business out of the home without a business tax receipt. I observe this violation on 119.22. Sent out notice of violation, certified mail on 120.22. It was re um, they received that on 122.22. Sent out notice of hearing on 217.22. Um, they received that on 218.22. Like to enter those following documents into evidence: Exhibit One, notice of violation; Exhibit Two, notice of hearing; Exhibit Three, verification ownership; Exhibit Four. AS 400 permit and license information. Exhibit 5 is pictures. And Exhibit 6 is some biz corporation information. I also spoke with uh, Mr. Valentin and explained to him what he needed to do. Well, I like the detective work you found. Not one, but two operating businesses out of that license. I was like, yeah. how's she going to do this? Oh, look, she did that. Wonderful work. What would you like? Uh, compliance by 526 or the 6 8 hearing, fine hearing, or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. 22 0100 258 Kensington Way, Johnny and Kamara Hernandez. Code section is 622 105.5. Building permit 201871 has expired. I observe this violation on 12422. So now knows the violation certified mail on 12522. They received it on 12722. So now knows of hearing certified mail on 1222. They received it. Or I received it on 219.22. I'd like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, AS400 permit information. Once again, pretty, pretty papers. What would you like? Compliance by 428 or the 511 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. 428, 511, 25 is granted. 22-01085 Amherst Court A, Sandra Finnegan. Code section is 622-105.5. Building permit 201620 is expired. This um, violation was observed on 124-22. Send out notice of violation, certified mail on 125-22. Like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, AS 400 permit information. Exh
I have USPS delivery confirmation on 127.22. Sent out notice of hearing, certified mail on 3.3.22. That was delivered on 3.5.22. Like the end of those following documents into evidence, Exhibit 1, notice of violation, USPS tracking. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, AS400 permanent. Exhibit 5, apps. Torture journey to. And dash one twenty one sixty. This violation on notice of violation was delayed to notice. Delayed. 1922 exhibit one notice exhibit two notice exhibit four if information yeah got a signed green card got talked to him <laughs> how many more services do you need yet oh and the USPS tracking confirmed <laughs> it's like three out of four or something. and they still need to update the permit okay so what would you like on this one Compliance by 428 or the 511 fine hearing or $25 day fine. 428, 511, 25 granted. Thank 22 you. 22-0136, 148 Barringer Walk, Nareda Araces, and Marcelino Iglesias Dominguez. Code section 622, 105.5, building permit 21-0595 is expired. This violation was observed on 622. And... Two twelve twenty in twenty two and the following documents verification owner find it amazing. only knows what it cost me. Services you like. Five eleven twenty five. Bridge Lane, Eric. Twenty two one oh five point five. Building permit thirty two eleven has expired. Violation was observed on two three twenty two. Send out notice of violation. Certified mail on two four twenty two. Um. It was delivered on 2-15-22, sent out a notice of hearing, certified mail on 3-2-22, and that was delivered on 3-4-22. I'd like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing, USPS tracking. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, AS-400 permit information. And Exhibit 5 is an affidavit of compliance. Oh, okay. Tracking confirmed by the USPS gives you service. Is it a finding of fact? Yes, sir. Granted. Thank you. 22 0207 121 Cayo Costa Court, Emmanuel L. and Sandra F. Michael. Code section 622 105.5, building permit 2019 62 has expired. This violation was observed on 2 3 22. The violation was sent out certified mail on 2 4 22. It was signed on 2 7 22. Sent out notice of hearing certified mail on 2 18 22. It was signed for on 2 22 22. Like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit one, notice of violation. Exhibit two, notice of hearing. Exhibit three, verification ownership. Exhibit four, is 400 permit information. My favorite part was signed for on 22223. <laughs> yeah. 22223. Very elaborate. Yeah, it was a Tuesday too. also. What would you like? Compliance by 428 or the 511 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. 22 221 Zero three eight zero Serenade Lane, Ada L. Lorena. Yes. Um, code section is fifteen four fifteen seventy eight fifteen one forty one. The tree has been hat racked. This I observed this violation on two ten twenty two. Send out notice of violation. Certified mail on two twelve twenty two. 
um, as well as the notice of hearing, and it was delivered on 2 15 22. I'd like to know the following documents into evidence Exhibit 1, notice of violation, notice of hearing, Exhibit 2, verification ownership, Exhibit 3, AS 400 permit information, Exhibit 5, pictures, Exhibit 6, four is pictures. Zimmerman's report. And Exhibit 5 is the letter from a tree service. We're asking for continuance on this one to reset this one for the violation hearing in um, on May 11th. Continued to 5-11. Okay. The arborist seems to think it's okay, but you can go on. Thank you. 22-0281, 198 Bob White Road, 198 Bob White Royal Land Trust in Nidia, Nidia Pino Trust. Code section 622-108.4. AC changed out without a permit and a new door without a permit. This violation was observed on 2-17-22. Send now notice of violation certified mail on 2 18 and it was delivered on 2-20-22. Send out notice of hearing certified mail on 3-17-22. It was delivered on 3-19-22. I'd like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing USPS tracking. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, AS 400 permit information. And Exhibit 5 is pictures. So it's once again Detective Margaret on the scene here. We got an AC in the backyard, which is switched out to an AC in the side yard. She has pictures of it all. Hmm. Just something. Whether you like. Compliance by 428 or the 511 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Is that it for now? No, you should have an addendum. Oh. I'll read them into the record, um, but we're asking in each case for the previous order that you issued to be uh, rescinded, vacated, and released. Um, th the same story is true for all of them, so I'll go ahead and read them all into the record, and then Margaret can get her stuff in, and then we can discuss. But the first one is 18-0467-159 Sunflower Circle, Norberto de Fernandez and Betseda Torres, 18-1658-159 Sunflower Circle, Norberto de Fernandez and Betseda Torres, 18 1659. 159 Sunflower Circle, Norberto de Fernandez and Betseda Torres, 18 1847. 159 Sunflower Circle, Norberto de Fernandez and Betseda Torres, 19 0692. 159 Sunflower Circle, Norberto de Fernandez and Betseda Torres, and 20 0577. 159 Sunflower Circle, Norberto Dip Fernandez and Betsy de Torres. All right, so the first four of the cases, one, two, three, four, your previous order from last month, March 14th, your previous orders were orders mitigating fine. The last two were orders denying fine mitigation. Subsequent to the hearing last month, the village received an email from the property owner. Um, there's an email in the file indicating that they did not sign the fine mitigation request, nor did they authorize an agent to represent them on their behalf. Ooh. I will say there's an investigation going on, so we don't want to put too much on the record tonight, but we're asking, based on that email, for you to rescind all of those orders. Granted. Granted. We would like to enter our, our fine mitigation. We would like uh, orders mitigating fine. Sign mitigation request form and letter authorization form and the email. The email is exhibit three from the new owner. Granted. Still would have granted it. Y'all are the masters of your domain here. You want to make sure it's all on the record? It is now on the record and granted. Oh, and I get to sign minutes, too. Woo-woo. Please let the record reflect that I sign these minutes for the March 9th hearing. And I believe that's it for us tonight, isn't it, Mark? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.